and in one of the rooms, when we shine the light into it, we saw three guys standing maybe ten feet oh! away. Hey, what is going on, everybody? My name is Joris, and welcome back to another video. Here with my sister and my cousin, we're going to react to some llama arts. I've seen some of this stuff before. I haven't. It's been a while since I watched it, and I have no idea how these people are coming up with these stories. Well, I think what they do is people. They share. Yeah, they send a bit and then he animates. I, I, yeah, works. maybe. But we are going to watch two, and they're both uh, from the school lockdown, the, the like school lockdown stories. Oh, now we've all been in a school lockdown, maybe, not yeah, not, we were, not a real one. I've no, no, I've one. been in a real one. Most of the lockdown drills I've ever been in a school were drills. Yeah, I only had one real one. Uh, but we're gonna see some creepy stuff that can happen during a school lockdown. It was a typical boring day in calculus, only it was Friday, 7th period, meaning the week was almost over and spring break would finally be upon us, so everybody was getting antsy in their seats, I could tell. We didn't have a test that day like a lot of my friends did with their other teachers, so our teacher in the middle of class just decided to start playing games with us on Sporkle.com. He was a very laid-back teacher like that. As we were doing some brand logo quiz on Sporkle, I remember the exact moment it happened. Right after my friend answered a question, I remember the exact answer too, Adidas. The Dean's voice came through the loudspeaker. He sounded panicked and frantic as he told all the teachers this was not a drill and to go into lockdown. I actually got the chills and I got goosebumps on my arms as our usually laid back teacher too seemed panicked as he ran to turn off the lights and ushered us to the back corner of the room. We all sat in silence for about two minutes, and then the usual buzzing that came from a panel in the back of the room ceased, indicating that the school must have cut all the power. We all looked at each other, realizing this must be serious. A few more minutes of waiting later, we heard a man screaming at the top of his lungs coming down the hallway. Two girls in the class actually started crying, which made all of us even more scared. I know them girls better shut their mouth if they if if they want to survive. Exactly. Cry on the inside. We don't need to. Don't exactly. nobody. Don't we? No, we can't have that. Man, if anybody but if anything busts in that door, I'm gonna be ready. It's a wrap. <laughs> oh god. Hey. In a lot of these classrooms, there's only one way in, one way out, one door. Like. At least put a window in so I can bust out the window and start running. That, but some the windows be bulletproof though. Well, yes, the windows are strong. Uh. It's, it's gonna take I don't know, time. I, I'm gonna find a way to break if I wanna live. Yeah. yeah. The lunatic sounding man started banging on the lockers while screaming, I'll kill all of you. It was at that moment that I started to fear for my life. My teacher shushed us as we all looked at each other to see our peers' reactions. The banging then moved from the lockers to our classroom door. And that's when one of the crying girls screamed, No. Oh my oh, god! But eventually, he finally continued down the hallway, screaming like a mentally insane person, until we could not hear him anymore. I'd say ten minutes later, though it felt like half an hour given the situation, the Dean came back on the loudspeaker explaining the situation, which was surprising for him to do. He explained that some apparently mentally unstable person entered the building and assaulted the woman sitting at the front desk, causing her to flee the building screaming, and staff wasn't sure if the man was armed or not. Now this was before the school had cameras or could afford proper security, so the school was wide- But you have a school intercom? Exactly. You have projectors, you have a school intercom, but you do not have cameras? Isn't that like the one thing you need Either as like an organization or like a public business? You need cameras. How you gonna know who fought in the hallway? Exactly. <laughs> Come on. What, what type of schooling got cameras, bro? The staff had done a sweep of all the hallways and classrooms and couldn't find him, so the dean instructed the teachers to resume teaching but to keep all the doors locked and to not let any students leave for any reasons. The most disturbing part, however, is that one of the janitors working the night shift found the man sleeping in one of the storage closets near the back end of the school, and according to rumors that were spread by my peers, sticking out of his pocket was a 44 Magnum. The janitor must have done something stupid to wake him up, for example, leaving the closet door open, because by the time a police officer could arrive on the scene, the man was gone. 
My entire class, as far as I know, to this day, has no idea if this man was ever found, but I like to think that right now, he's being given the proper help that he needs. I'm, the I, I'm moving that, schools. Yeah, they, oh, God, like, there yeah. is no way that they ain't got no cameras. When he say ain't got no cameras, like, that don't make sense. What school ain't got no cameras? No, a school has to be built. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Like, I don't know, like, that, by that, law, like, schools have to have cameras. I don't know, but shoot, no, maybe. But Late 90s. right, you, you'd have cameras. I'm 22 years old, fresh out of college, and I recently got a job at my old high school as a sort of computer intern in the school basement. The basement of the school is very messy and disorganized, but there is a small three-person office that's actually very nice down there. It has three nice big desks, two mini fridges, a flat screen TV mounted on the wall, and oh so satisfying air conditioning, a luxury the students and teachers cannot enjoy in the school. And of course all the school servers and other computery stuff. I got the job because three of my old computer teachers flat out You wanna know something? You know that there's a part of the school where the windows are blacked out like a like a room or like a door that says like mechanical or electrical. I know Metzger has that. That's the servers. I don't even think custodians can go in there. Yeah, I have no idea who has a key to that, but I'm pretty sure that's like the, the school servers. Cause like that, that's the only thing that can really make sense. Like the windows blacked out, like Wagner has it, like right next to the elevators on the second floor, there's this huge part where the windows are blacked out. And I think that those are the school servers. It's been great until something that happened a few weeks ago. My two co-workers that shared the office with me, Dave and Gary, weren't in the office at the time. They were upstairs working on papers or whatever. I was eating my sandwich during my lunch break when I got a phone call from one of the women in the front office telling me the school was on lockdown and that somebody possibly armed had entered the school. There wasn't much that I could do other than turn off the lights because, surprisingly, as nice as this little office was, it didn't have an actual door to it, just a big opening, and the door to the whole basement didn't even have a working lock. For my own safety, I did turn off all the lights in the office and my computer screen. I kept my phone on the desk, texting both Gary and Dave, but they wouldn't respond. I sat down there in the dark, playing games on my phone for like 20 minutes, waiting for the call from up front to tell me to resume working. I had no idea what was happening, I couldn't hear what was going on upstairs from down here. But I was not allowed to make any calls until I was informed that the lockdown was over. Then the noisy basement door opened. As the creaking echoed across the basement and into my office, I sat up from my seat, wondering if I should call out Gary or Dave. If any, I don't care who it is. If there's no protection between I, me and you, I'm fighting. I'm picking up a pair of scissors and I'm waiting at the door. <laughs> oh, I'm, shoot, I'm, I'm come picking on, up a come stapler. On. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing so. Nah, shoot, I am picking up a, some scissors. Someone then came running down the stairs and their footsteps were approaching my office. I pushed away my chair and crawled under my desk. Somebody entered the office, but did not turn on the lights. There was just silence. I can't even describe the fear I was experiencing. I felt like if I made one sudden noise, I'd be a dead man. Suddenly, my phone dinged as I got a text I said, message. silent your phone! I felt my entire world shrivel up and die at that one moment as I clenched my teeth in fear footsteps suddenly moved closer to me until I finally dove out from under the desk in capitulation, begging whoever it was oh, not to kill oh, me. What a story. Uh, Just then, someone grabbed my arm and pulled me up. It was some guy in a red plaid button-up, jeans, and a reddish-black cap. He told me, it's okay, I'm just down here hiding with you. What's going on up there? I whispered to him. He kind of ignored my question and asked me if there's an exit down here. I told him, yeah, around that way. Before he could do anything else, I asked him, who are you? There was a brief moment of silence. Before he started explaining he was coming in to pick up his son, when a teacher told him to hide. After his explanation, I checked my phone and saw the text I received was from Dave. It said, Dude, this is fucking crazy. Some guy with a gun shot Mr. Buckley. He's wearing a red shirt and a hat. Whatever you do, don't come upstairs. 
I was about to reread that text out loud to the man until I realized. I looked up and felt my stomach sink. The man seemed to catch on to my suspicious stare. Panicking, all I could think to do was to run for the upstairs. Not it. You I'm are getting drop kicked. That's all there is to it. You are getting drop kicked, bro. Plaid shirt. You get okay. Bow. It's a wrap. This stuff would not go down like this. You, I mean, you can't. Uh, it's a story. It's just animated. We don't even know if it's fictional or real. But I'm gonna tell you right now. If if it something sounds real. if something like this happens and somebody come down there and they text me like, oh hey, he's wearing this and that dude who's wearing that is in front of me, you're getting drop kicked. I'm telling you, pair of scissors in your neck. That's what's going on. <laughs> Fight or die. Honestly, pair of scissors in your neck. <laughs> yeah, pair, pair, come on. A gunshot echoed through the basement, and I could hear the bullet ricochet off something metal in the darkness. But thank God the bullet missed me, and I made it upstairs. Fortunately, police were waiting at all exits, including the basement exit, and caught the man the second he opened the door. More good news our teacher, Mr. Buckley, survived the gunshot. It was later determined that the man and Mr. Buckley had some beef for whatever reason, but that was never revealed. All we know is that Mr. Buckley couldn't have done anything that would have warranted this kind of reaction. And I know that the sound of that gunshot will forever echo in my mind. Oh uh, yeah, so what was all that stuff you sold me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm gonna have nightmares about that tonight, I'm just let you know right now. I might, I don't know. I don't get we, we have enough time, we'll watch one more. Back in high school, I took a mysteries and mythology type class, or something like that. I don't remember the name of the class. It basically just had to do with real life mysteries and creepy shit. I was into that kind of stuff. It sounds like a class I would actually love to be in. The teacher of the class took us on a field trip to a nearby abandoned village with an unknown past. The village was built in the early 1900s, but seems as though it had been quickly abandoned shortly after it was built. The bus ride there was about 20 minutes. All of us were glued to the bus windows as we pulled up some sketchy looking, decrepit road cutting through dense forest. The road eventually led to a clearing. And we the were there. Going there? Who Just approved this teacher to take these kids this For real? Exactly. Bro, what? The, the grass surrounding was almost knee high. Then there were the buildings. The tall, archaic brick buildings with the boarded up windows all gave off such chilling vibes. The teacher lined all 20 of us up, counted heads, and then began leading the way. The point of this little field trip was to use the so-called skills we learned in class to see if we could put anything together about why the village may have been abandoned so long ago. Some of the buildings had holes in the walls to serve as entryways. There were even holes in the ground next to some of the buildings, seemingly dug to get into the basements of some of the buildings, which seemed creepy. There was one building though, it stood taller than any of the others. It just intrigued me the most. While the teacher was leading the group towards the village church, Ben and I decided to sneak off on our own to look oh, for anything no. interesting. Now that's your fault. That's what you messed up. <laughs> that's your fault. And after that point, those boys were never seen again? Exactly. When we walked off in the direction of the tallest building, we saw a hole in the ground. It was dug by the back door of the building, which had been sealed off. In the hole was a ladder, which led down to the concrete floor below. They went down that ladder, didn't we? We both looked at each other and knew we had to do it. Yep. You did not have ben to. Ben climbed down. It was creepy down there. There were a couple of beer bottles, one graffiti tag on the wall, and dusty wooden planks everywhere. There was a wooden stairway which led up to complete darkness since all windows and doors had been sealed shut from above. We had already gone as far as to enter the building, so we figured we'd go up the stairs too. No. No, that what? I went first. The creakiness of the hundred year old wood made me feel as if I was going to fall through each and every step. Ben followed suit. This floor of the building was very tight. It seemed like there were many openings going off into different, smaller rooms. It was so dark in there, you would never even guess it was daytime. Ben and I were honestly starting to get creeped out in there and agreed to go back outside. But just then, there was a noise in one of the tiny rooms. 
like a big rock hitting the concrete floor. And what did they do? A normal instinct would be to run, but Ben and I froze, locked eyes for a moment, then both tiptoed over to the opening of the room. No way! No way! No way! Oh my god! He would go. I would have been gone. The moment, like the moment I saw the stairs, I was out. I would have been gone. And white people get mad when people be talking about it, talking about this stereotype. It's true. Exactly. The same stuff that y'all do in the movies is stuff that y'all do for real. You be in a dark place, you hear something fall. Ooh, what was that? We exactly. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> I'll see. I'll see y'all later. I appreciate my life. Right. Clearly you don't. I'll catch you later. <laughs> if you don't make it, tell Jesus I said hi. <laughs> we shine the lights into the room and ran. We ran back down the stairs and then up the rusty ladder back outside. We caught up to the group out of breath. We didn't say anything though to avoid getting in trouble. One of our classmates asked us what was wrong. We told him we snuck into one of the buildings and in one of the rooms when we shine the light into it, we saw three guys standing maybe ten feet oh! away, oh! facing me Ben and I in a weird scary. formation, as if they were waiting for us. No, sir. I'm out. Let me go. Oh, <laughs> oh now that's as scary. Oh, that, that gave me chills. Oh, God, it did. Wait, 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 that wait, wait, gave wait, wait, me really chills. Did. There's still like a minute of it left. As we continued following the group, we paid extra attention to the tall building we entered from the distance. And before leaving, we saw a person's face at one of the higher level windows that had not been boarded up. We never told the teacher in fear of getting in trouble. We didn't know what to think. Were those just homeless people living in there? Were they gang members in hiding? Ben freaks me out with his theory. He says they were ghosts of the people who once lived in the town. Still. The way the three guys were just hauntingly standing there, so calmly, staring at us the moment we peeked our heads through that doorway, I still can't get that image out of my head. I may go back to that village one day. No! Just to prove Ben's idea wrong. What? No! Have you not, you not learned? Even if I did go to that room, here's what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I'm, pulling, I, I'm pulling my phone out. I'm gonna shine the light. I see some, oh. That's right. Stay right there real quick. <laughs> hey, yo, don't move. Give me a second. Camera, zoom. Dish. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there aren't black horror movies. Exactly. Because we don't do this, man. I need, I need if it's one thing it. black people do not die by it. It's ghosts, <laughs> paranormal stuff. Because we hear one sound, we Oh, we out. <laughs> if I heard some... Some movement up in the attic. I'm moving. I'm having grandma over here. She gonna pray. Exactly. The, she, she oh gonna God, pray. you will. She, <laughs> she gonna pray the will. house down. You already know that. Okay, those were actually pretty good. Those were creepy. See, I told so, you. But some of the, I thought I, some of those I could have swore I seen, but I haven't seen those specific ones. None of them I've seen. Well, the only reason why like I haven't been watching them for a while is because they legitimately got creepy. Like I said before, I have no idea how they're getting these stories, or if they're if if it's people I think sharing their experiences. Well, I think it's, I, I don't, clearly it's not this one dude experience and all this. I think it's people who went through this stuff and is getting into contact with him and telling them all this stuff. And then he animates it. Yeah, that would make that, sense. That's what he does. But other than that, what, what y'all think was it? I was, I'm still freaked out about that. Like, place. like, like, <laughs> like creepiness. 100 plus my favorite there. my favorite one was the one with the uh the second lockdown oh, the second one, one of the guy in the shirt oh boy you are getting drop kicked or i, I wouldn't look so surprised i would just play yeah, it off yeah because the, he wasn't he playing it off face. He right he, face. He, so like if you if you read the phone j just act like you're looking at something just all right Bah! <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. I ain't doing that. No, sir. No, sir. What type of schools is this? <laughs> I would be, what I would what been school like, is y'all? Like, what, like, what years was these made? Like, what, when did that happen? And then he said he started running and he fired a bullet. And how, it, do you, you, how do you have that bad aim? Oh, God. But I'm going to say it. But I'm going to say it one more time. We don't do this. We always die first because we always, we always know what to do. And there's always some some impossible 
something that's why that's why movies. that's why that that's right that's why in horror movies they kill the black person first because they know they're gonna be the first to leave exactly boy if i hear some noises all right y'all can go check that out i'm gonna wait over here like even if we are together and we're running you know I'm dusting all of them. Oh, exactly. I'm not waiting for y'all. Ain't no I shoot talking about no man left behind. Shoot, bye. <laughs> hey, you better keep up. Shoot. Anyway, that was those were pretty good. But we're gonna end it right here. I need to go to work tomorrow. I need to get some sleep. Anyway, we're gonna end this one here. Hope y'all enjoy this one. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Uh, I'm so scared about that. <laughs>